When I say Black Packers, you go A hey, yo. You ready? Black Packers. Hey, yo. I feel like we gotta drown out Justin Timberlake. Uh, uh, right? Black Packers. Hey, yo. I love it for us. Let's go. It's just sort of like a commonly held stereotype, even among black people. Like when I tell other black people that I ski, they're like, what, black people don't ski? And I'm like, well, I do. I've been climbing maybe like four or five times. Up until last year, I had never been skiing. I took my first lesson in February, 2023. I started snowboarding like, like, I feel like this is my 12th time, so like two years ago, I would have said. We did go outdoors, but it was more like local parks and things more in the city. Most of us are raised with the thought of the outdoors isn't for us. It's not necessarily that we can't. It's just inherently not a part of our culture. It's very different. We're here to try and change that narrative, shake it up a little bit. The goal of Black Packers is economic equity in outdoor recreation. We provide a curriculum-based, professionally guided and outfitted adventures and education for our participants who might not be able to access that uh, because of representation issues or economic uh, money issues. We want them to be able to go out without us. And then secondly, we want to be able to give people experience and certifications in the outdoor industry that will help them essentially get entry-level jobs into that space. We have skiing, snowboarding, climbing, hiking, backpacking, wilderness medicine training. Really trying to be intentional about creating a community where people feel welcome. It takes time, absolutely work up to it. You won't find a more welcoming and encouraging group of people. What did you say in the car? <laughs> here to learn something, but it also feels sort of like equal parts, like party and family reunion, especially when you see people who look like you and you just feel comfortable, because it can be really isolating trying to learn on your own. Yes. Yes. Feet in front of you. Feet in front of you. Yay. That was progress. Their events make it a lot easier to like navigate through things that we may not know being a mom of five. Um, it's nice to be around people that can give that guidance and support. It's fun. I think it's a confidence builder. Once I felt like I was gaining some confidence and some experience and some know-how, I just kept on going. And now I've gone from the bunny hills to black diamonds just by pushing myself. Holding things on with my toe does not seem feasible in my mind. So like the like overcoming that mental challenge, but then also like realizing that I can do it and then just going for it. She said, let go and fall down. Yeah, no, we're done. Underneath all of this, of course, are mental health benefits, especially in our community, and physical health benefits. Being out in nature, again, just really helps me to feel the solitude and the comfort to think and be my natural self. I was feeling a little zest and zeal. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Thank you. You're able to just kind of relax and be free and enjoy, you know, being able to actually like take a minute to stop and like look at something instead of being in a rush all the time. Or being able to disconnect go out into nature and have nothing but the quiet. You have the sound of the wind in the trees, you've got the birds, the occasional moose, you never know. I'm glad groups like Black Packers exist, but I don't want there to be a need for it one day. I hope it's just natural that everybody wants to come in, no matter where you're from. Yeah.